researchers. Have you ever been in a snowstorm or a rainstorm and just gotten completely soaked? You walk out and you're just not really very prepared for the weather. That's the kind of thing that I've been noticing some of us are doing when we're reading our articles. We're kind of walking into them completely unprepared. And then while we try to stick with it and to read along knowing that we have to find things that will help us to answer our research questions, have to find things related to our subtopics. It's almost like we're getting drenched and drenched in facts and details. And it's probably really overwhelming if you were in that rainstorm or snowstorm or also as a reader. So today I want us to think about ways to help us to be organized researchers and to have notes that actually make a difference, especially when we start to move from note-taking into synthesizing. So today I want to remind you that when you're trying to learn about a subtopic, it doesn't work to just pile a zillion facts on top of each other or to make one long list of details. It helps to bucket those facts, to walk out into the storm dressed, ready for what's to come and to organize your notes in a way that fits the article so that you can pop out the main ideas and the supporting details. It helps to ask yourself questions before you walk out into that storm. For instance, like, how is this organized already and what might the author be trying to teach me? When you think about the way that things could go before we get started, it basically does a lot of the work for you and helps us so you don't get drenched. So let's do that together when we look at some articles from my note taking and think about ways to make it organized less overwhelming. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna just remind myself and maybe you'll remind yourself along with me of some of the ways we could organize our notes, the ways we could look at texts. So just take a moment to look over this chart. You can find this also on your Padlet. So before I read an article, and I've maybe I found an article despite you know, searching things that are related to my subtopic using some keywords, um, I now have something I can go off of, but I might just start to list notes and notes and notes if I don't have a plan. I, I don't wanna get drenched, I'm trying to avoid that. And I wanna also take notes so that I'm prepared for the synthesis part later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preview the text to think like, how is this organized already? What's the author probably teaching me? And then I'll start taking my notes accordingly. So let's look at the title and let's look across to see what we can already figure out about the article and how we might take notes. Activist Greta Thunberg gives blistering UN speech on climate change. Okay, so it seems like so far just from this picture and also the title, this is probably an example of something like of maybe the frustration that activists face. Let's see, we have a little intro here and then it says empty words says youth activist. So it seems like this part's about how she calls them out. She calls them out for like not doing enough. Then it says no concrete commitments. So another thing about like what they're not doing. Okay. So it seems like the article is going to be showing us maybe reasons why Greta is frustrated. So then if it's gonna fit into my subtopic, um, I've been researching on climate change, but specifically about the challenges that youth activists face. I wanna pick a structure that's gonna help me to, to take notes on my question, but also to take notes that fit the article. So let's see, um, I could do boxes and bullets because I'm really comfortable with that and that will help me to find main ideas, but I've been doing that a lot. So maybe I can think about how it's, like the problems they face and the possible solutions. I don't know if it offered too many solutions and I'm just scanning it. So I might, I might actually challenge myself to read a little bit and then make a decision. Okay, so let's just see what happens if I read a little bit and make a decision. Cause I'm just not totally sure. United Nations, dozens of world leaders met at the United Nations Climate Action Summit Monday, September 23rd. They talked about their efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. However, they were upstaged by youth activists who are angry that officials are not going, not doing enough to prevent climate change. I'm thinking that it, it could be, makes it's, it could be problem solution, but if I look a little bit closer at what um, actually these things are described as, like cause and effect kind of stand out to me because it's an action that happens first and the reason something else happens. So it maybe it's like, why, like, so she tries to make a difference, but then it doesn't really help. 
or maybe it's like the result of their inaction is making her stand up and do something. So I'm going to push myself this time to read and take notes with cause and effect, because I think it could fit um, not only the article, but also could help me to explain my question a bit more. So I'm going to take notes now in a way that's different than probably I'm used to. I'm just going to set my notes up so it looks like this, causes and effects. And then as I take notes, I'll be adding things to these categories. What's also helpful is just to leave your question at the top, the question that you have about your subtopic. So my research question What are some of the obstacles that you have? So now as I'm reading, I'm going to help myself to stay really focused by looking at my question to try to answer it and also using a newer structure, a more specific structure to get um, the best information possible. So when I leave this article, after I've taken some notes on causes and effects, I'll probably be able to write the main idea or synthesis of this article that's a bit more to a point. So a little recap for you. It's helpful to go in prepared, to dress accordingly for the weather. So before you go in, it's always good to look at the weather, right? To preview the text, to think how might this go? How is it organized? What might the author be teaching me? And then to pick a lens for yourself to read off of. It also is important to keep in mind what your real goal is. Oftentimes as researchers, we can get lost in the details. We can get lost in the articles. So save yourself that time by looking not only at the possible structure of the text, but also the structure of your question and the kind of question you're really trying to, the kind of question that you're asking. Um, and by focusing on those two things, the structure of the text, the question you're asking yourself for your research, those things will help you a lot to get the most out of a text and to save your time. I hope this helps you. Make sure that when you're working on this today, you're using the same tools that I did. You can check this all out on the Padlet. Good luck. I can't wait to see what you do.